Hey guys, it's TFNet. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing another action figure review. This time it's going to be of the brand new Bandai Tamashi Nations SH Figure Arts One Piece Monkey D. Luffy, the raid on Onigashima version. Very excited to finally have this. A lot of One Piece fans that collect these figures have been very excited for the return of the One Piece line, which is really cool to see. Shout out to KDoogie616 on Instagram who got me to finally watch this show. I am really early on. I have just finished uh, Arlong Park, so I'm nowhere near, uh, near this arc. I'm going to get there eventually, though. I am enjoying it, and I do hope that they get to make you know younger versions of the characters in the future. But it's just nice to see the line make some kind of return, even though I don't, you know, I'm not super familiar with this version of Luffy. I got to support the line however I can make sure that this succeeds. Anyway, taking a look at the packaging here, it's pretty standard with what we have. You do see the figure in the box, One Piece logo up there. But also uh, on the right, you see images of the figure in different poses with some of the different accessories. Monkey D. Luffy, right on Onigashima, SH Figure Arts. You also have the Toei animation sticker right there. The Bandai, uh, Tamashii Nations quality sticker as well. It's a little bit hard to see, but you also have the uh, Bandai and Tamashii Nation logos. This was made in China. On this side here, the box has a really nice pattern of like a map chart. So that's very fitting. Monkey D. Luffy. Read on Onigashima. Here's an image of the figure posed on the box. If maybe I could turn up the brightness a little bit right there. Looking nice. Then we get to this side here, and it just shows off some different faces that come with this figure. And some of the other figures are going to come with different faces of Luffy in the future, so we'll wait and see which one's which. I, I mean, each figure, you know, pre-order-wise, it will list which face comes with that. Um, they do also have on the top here just a read-up of the SH figure arts line. It's really cool. It's in the shape of his hat right there. On the bottom here, there's another, you know, Monkey D. Luffy right there. If you hear the leaf blower, I do apologize. It's right outside my door. And Monkey D. Luffy images of the figure right there, and it does say super modeling as well as super action. And then the bottom here, Bandai Namco, ages 15 and up, and a barcode in case you need it. Let's go ahead and get this figure out of the packaging. And here is the figure out of the packaging. While I do think that this is a really great figure, there are some minor nitpicks with my particular figure that might be apparent on yours that I did fix, but it could cause problems for other people if they're not addressed. I'll talk about that in the detail portion, but this really is a stellar figure for the price you're paying, which is like 30 to 40 bucks. It's insane. Let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories. Don't want to take a close look at the figure. Since Tamashi Nations is going paperless with the instruction manuals, I will leave a link down in the description below with the PDF of this guy's instructions. But I will show you some things that are covered there. So the straw hat pegs into this hat that uh, head that he comes packaged with. And instead of a separate head, of course you can interchange your faces, but it's kind of like with some of the newer Tamashi Nations figures where I don't know if I like it entirely yet. Uh, it could be a little over convoluted. It, it, not too bad. So you pop that in because this piece does not have the peg. And actually, if we're going to show off this head, you do need to properly have this back piece of the hair slotted in here. So I feel like this back piece would also need to be for the head for the hat but the instructions specifically say that this back neck piece is really just for the uh the uh, you know hatless head i guess is what i can call it and then aligning everything is a little bit tricky but once you get it all in there it does look good and then that's what that back of the head looks like <clears throat> excuse me you can't actually tell that much that it really did anything so I mean, it all blends in together still pretty well. But that is what one of the faces looks like on there. That is the smiling open mouth face. I do wish, I actually don't remember what some of the uh, other figures coming with Luffy faces are. Uh, one of them is gonna be like an eating face. And then I don't know if there's gonna be like, you know, he does the smile with his teeth closed. So I was hoping we would get that here, but it still looks nice here. The more squinted eyebrows looking good. The scar on the cheek. The paint, you know, separation of the pink and the teeth, you know, and the white and the teeth all looks good. And then the eyes are really nicely printed there. You got to see. We will When we do the detail portion, you'll see this more. Here's the angrier head that looks a little bit like a snarl. You can see the pupils are a little bit, like, dilated almost. 
I also really like the scar again right there. And the actual sculpting, they actually have, it's a little hard to see with the light, uh, indents of actual like scrunching around the eyebrows right there. So that's nice. And the sideburns too, all of them have really nice paint on the sideburns. This is so funny to me. This is hilarious because of how much like this forward it looks 2d and then the, the 3d expression like that that is so funny to me i was cracking up when i put this face on the live stream uh so there's some fun potential with this the eye sticking out really nice with a nice white paint and the black pupils nice sweat uh drop right there that's printed on there the open mouth looks really good and the pink of the tongue looks very awesome and then the teeth have some nice detailing going on there so that is so funny to me that exaggerated long face i'm digging that now i guess we can go ahead and take a look at the straw hat since i'll be i mean i'm going to be showing the figure with it but you you do have a sub scratching going on up in here on the straw hat nice red band the detailing on here looks like a straw hat it is very nicely done that yellowish paint is really cool and then you know if you have them holding the hat and it's at this angle you can't see it but there are tabs in here where you can see and it can be a little distracting so i do wish we got a separate straw hat but honestly it's fine to just have one for multiple purposes of putting it on the head and having him hold it speaking of holding it we have these pretty large hands and uh these are meant for they could be relaxed but mostly holding the hat looking really good maybe do have fingernails slightly sculpted in there it's a little bit hard to see in the light I also do like like the back of the hands with the knuckles and all that and the palms have a little bit of detailing and there's some creasing underneath the fingers that's cool last but not least we have these flat hands for posing with different types of attacks that he does and again actually really nice protruding knuckles going on there too and i, I can see the fingernails better in the sculpting here so we don't really get that much stuff honestly but for 35 bucks i mean naruto will come with a little bit more stuff for 35 bucks but for what we have with this particular Luffy, it is really nice. Before we get started on this section, I do apologize. It's, I want to let you guys know that some of these joints are rather tight. The shoulder joints were tight, and then this upper thigh ball joint going on here was tight. So I did shock oil. If it's shiny, I do apologize, but it was necessary to make sure that this doesn't break. And if any of you guys have the same issues where some of these are tight, Especially like elbow joints going up in here because things are so thin, you don't want things to break. It's better safe than sorry. And having a little bit of shiny joints is, they'll eventually go away. I don't know if I'd recommend doing that with these because these were actually really tight, uh, these T-joints, but I shock oil just ever so slightly here. And then that was like super duper loose. Honestly, you can easily pull these apart if you just grab here and you, you know carefully pull apart, honestly uh and maybe like wipe it with like maybe a little bit of water um and it should be like it should be fine There's no squeaking anymore there so that's nice but the detailing here I, i've already talked about this but this face is really nice and you know they do a really good job of immersing everything with the uh you know the hair uh, the head up in here with the hat so it makes it look like he's actually wearing the hat i also really like uh, the soft goods going on. It's really soft plastic. I should say with this uh, shirt Some people may want it to be soft goods But I think what we have here is fine because the shirt isn't very long or it doesn't get in the way of articulation too much uh, The scar on the chest and all the muscles going on there. The skin toe is really like really consistent. I think Looking at all of that they even have detailing of like buttonholes on this side here and then gold paint on the buttons looking really good nice detailing of wrinkles throughout the whole shirt especially on the arms here too that elbow joint is a little exposed uh but you have some wrinkles in the back here some open slots here in case you want to move that around so you don't like break open anything too much going on here uh and then you do have the open arm right there uh, you know, the skin tone is really nice. These fists are really large, but they look good. And I'm pretty sure they're accurate to how big they're supposed to be. The elbows are also a little tight, but that's not too bad. I also want to mention, I feel like they're eventually going to make an accessory kit because this right here, this forearm, even though it's kind of thin, it looks like it's really easy to remove. Or at least maybe eventually they'll plan something. I don't really know, but 
they probably just have that in there for constru uh, construction reasons to you know have that easily separate um and all that my biggest issue is that this is just a little too loose not biggest issue like the biggest issue was the tight joints this is the second big, uh, biggest issue this likes to pop off a little too much here but it stays on there when you don't move it around too much of course um like right now it should be fine but when you like do that yeah you can see it's starting to you know, come apart this like purplish you know sash it also has some really nice paint some nice swooshing all the way around and then you do have the nice like wrinkles in there too now these pants look really good i'm really digging how these look i think that if you look close enough i mean the crotch right here and then the rest of the hips may be a little inconsistent but it does look like there's a little bit of shading in some areas around here and in the crotch area too and you'll see some of it like in the back it's a little bit of subtle shading but like the detailing and the wrinkles and a little bit of shading in there it really brings out some of those details so i think all that looks really good these white fluffy pieces for the pants this looks like a, it is a separate piece and it looks like it's supposed to hinge but i cannot for the life of me remove this or make it hinge and this gets in the way of leg articulation unfortunately and we'll get there in a second but all that looks really good the knees and the legs you know rather skinny legs here pretty sure these are accurate uh you do have some detailing in the thigh up in there but it's kind of covered i mean you can pop this out so that's what that looks like with some of that muscle going on in there i wouldn't recommend doing that a whole bunch in case things get loose or if something happens and you do end up breaking something and then the sandals are really nice i like the tying around the feet and then the toes have some nice detailing really nice detailing around the ankles and the bottom of the sandals look really cool too and one thing i want to show off we'll get to articulation in a second when you hinge this this sandal moves and then you see the exposed sole of the feet whereas a lot of time they'll just sculpt this all as one piece uh i mean the hinge will be in there but man that is really sick I don't know if I mentioned this, but there was pretty good paint on the scarring too. And I think, yeah, if you feel you feel it with your fingernail, there's separation in the skin or uh, the scar is detailed in there. I may have gone through some things a little quick, but it's a very basic design, which uh, it's always worked for Luffy. Um, I guess I wouldn't say basic, very simple. I use that word too much. <laughs> uh, and then there's that shininess there, unfortunately. This thing just overall, like this popped out a little too easily. The fluffiness of the cuff, I guess, the poofiness. That's pretty good too. And popping. Okay, so that is definitely secured in back there. That all, it, I mean, it, all these things coming together look really, really sick on this guy. Okay, articulation dumbbell joint got up in here, and you have the uh, neck articulation there. All that adds to this range of motion. The head's a little, I didn't do anything to the head. It's a little loose, but even with the straw hat, that's as far up as it wants to. Oh gosh. It wants to go. It actually stays together pretty well, but if you pull it back too much, it will come apart. But that looks really good going up and then going down really good. You have a pivot side to side rotating all the way. You, if you grab the neck, you can make it rotate, but not that much here. The arms, this is a little tricky. It does want to go all the way around. Even with me shock oiling, it's still kind of tight. And then that's as far out as it wants to go. It can go up and I just don't know where. It's like you can grab the forearm and then this can pivot here. It's almost like a weird like hinge dumbbell joint in there as well. You can kind of make it like swivel forward because of that. Yeah, it looks a little sloppy with all that right now, so I do apologize. But you do have swiveling here. These elbows are also a little tight, but it actually bends really well. Standard wrist articulation for import figures, including the Tomashi Nations line. You guys are familiar with that by now. Ball joints here and a hinge and a separate ball joint at the waist. So you got all this. This is really tight too. Gosh, I'm glad these are tight, but they're a little too tight. That swivel, that like ball joint without hinging is still really good forward. Add that hinge at the waist ball joint. You get that forward. That's sick. Let's see far back. Actually, not that bad. Seriously, that's really cool. Man, that is really nasty sounding. There's all that pivoting. But okay, so that pops off a little too easily on mine, but uh, let me see if we can pop that back in. There we go. 
there you see we got forward here this is a soft crotch piece just a heads up back like that and then you do have almost the splits the swivels right there yikes things are coming apart a little bit unfortunately after i was messing with stuff around but they come back together and you see that ball joint system in there so that will pivot in there and swivel up here since you don't get that anywhere here so they don't break the sculpt but again i can't figure out if i can need to remove this so for now it's a single joint knee uh that only gets this range of motion not amazing up and down we do have a little bit of an ankle swivel there we do have ankle rocker too and of course you saw the toe hinge measuring out the figure we are looking pretty close to 15 and a half centimeters it's going to be about the same height depending on if it's you know the hat or without the hat heads and then you do have it at just right at six inches all these different properties the big three as you can see are under the sh figure arts belt and dragon ball of course being one of the biggest franchises in anime so i have all these different mcs here two different naruto's the far left is thousand year blood war bleach and then saiyan race on earth goku they're all going to be varying sizes from each other it looks like ichigo might be the tallest out of all of them but luffy's a pretty decent size compared to all of them Overall, I'm pretty impressed with this figure. I think Tamash Nation's accomplished a lot here for what price they are charging. While I am glad this is a cheaper figure, I do think maybe it would have been nice to have a couple extra accessories. I would have paid more for some gum gum effects or some different faces and different hands. Hopefully we'll get an accessory set later on down the line. I know some of the figures coming out later this year are also gonna come with some Luffy faces, so there's that. But what they did accomplish for 35 bucks is a really nicely engineered really nicely painted figure there's some areas where it could have more paint but i don't have any paint splotches on this figure at all like i've been looking there is no paint imperfections i've seen and that is really impressive i do like the swappable parts with the accessories so you can have him properly wearing the straw hat or you know going without it and the rest of the articulation while i mentioned it was a little uh tight in some areas if you just have a little bit of shock oil it should work fine just not too much you might loosen up the figure a little too much like i was doing but this thing is really cool it makes me want the rest of the figures coming out soon it makes me want the classic versions of these characters too and i am very excited to see the potential of the one piece line returning for sh figure arts thanks for watching please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already comment down below what you think about the figure what you think about the review leave a like share with your friends follow me on instagram for more content over there and i'll see you guys later